Okay, Miles here with Wilco Land LLC. We've got a 40 acre property, Fiddler's Road, as you can see. I'm looking at it on Google Earth. An FYI, if anybody's opposed to it, we're playing John Prine in the background as a tribute today. This is a Shasta County piece of land for sale. I'm gonna start on Google Earth. Um, I'm gonna show you, and I'm probably sure you're wondering, hey, I don't have access to this, right? Let me show you something. Inside of our website, we've got this listed on wilcolandllc.com. My contact information's at the bottom if you wanna give me a ring, if you have any additional questions. There's this, um, in all of our listings, we share this line, right? Google Earth Maps. I click that, this is how it works in my settings on my computer, yours might be different. Download it, it shows up here, I double click it. I do have Google Earth Pro installed on my computer. You won't have these, um, probably not these parcel lines, this is an extra app that we have, it's called Parlay. If you wanna get online and look that up, um, let me know or let them know as your referral, <laughs> right? Um, anyhow, so you get on Google Earth. And this is a 40 acre property. It looks pretty steep from Google Earth. I mean, we buy our properties sight unseen. We're out of South Dakota, believe it or not. Never stepped foot on any of these properties. So we rely on like a, a photographer to get photos out there. Um, you know, just doing due diligence from the computer. If you ever want to schedule a call with me to maybe sit down for 20 minutes, teach you some of these like applications and these tools where you can look at comparable sales um, and kind of do some of this on your own for somebody else's listings. If you want to get into the industry, let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. I'll share a Calendly link in my emails with anybody here. And so tools that Google Earth offers. Um, one, obviously you can see terrain. I'm, I'm looking here, but what I did was click a ruler. Um, you can do a path, you can do a circle. Um, right now, I'm gonna do a line and it's gonna be yards. And I'm kind of curious, hey, how do I know where, you know, is it property surveyed, is it marked? How do I know when I get out there? The reality is, Unless we have a great, great photographer or somebody note, denotes this for us, we probably don't know either. We're in South Dakota, but we have tools. We will share corner GPS coordinates. Um, this is something too where it's like, hey, maybe you know, I'm at a point here and this property runs along um, fiddlers at this section for about 400 yards. I mean, maybe you walk that. Um, and taking a step further back, using Google Earth as a tool, one, to access a property, you're gonna go ahead and get on our website. And you're gonna use, unless there's an address, which a lot of these vacant properties don't have, you're gonna copy and paste these GPS coordinates. Um, you're gonna plug them into Google Maps, just like you would your friend's address. Um, and you're gonna get directions there. And you wanna double check these directions. Um, make sure everything kind of checks out. Look at satellite imagery. Even, even if you don't have Google Earth or if you don't wanna download it, you can get on satellite imagery and see a lot of this stuff. So um, it should be, once you get off, um, I believe this is uh, Plantina Road. And so you'll get off Plantina Road at some point. I believe it's up here. Um, this is a turn off. You're gonna get eventually on, this is called Wild Turkey Road, I believe off here. You'd get over on, so you'd zoom around here. Um, and this is Fiddler's Road. And look in here, Fiddler's goes around over here. So you're looking at these, you're like, you're kind of just mapping it out. And, and as you're driving, you're saying, okay, we, turn, we made this turn, we made this second turn. Here we go, we approach the property. How, how do I even know I approached it? There's like a little residence in a driveway right here. If you look in and you zoom in, you're at 3,700 fiddlers, that's their address. So, okay, I kind of have an idea. This road straightens out here, it V's there. So you're trying to just get a recollection. Um, maybe the driveway to the tip of our property is about 100 yards and you walk it. Now you have a bearing. You have a bearing of where you're at. Um, you start to drive. You know, our property runs along the edge of this um, road. And, you know, it should be shifted. Uh, hypothetically, this is an overlay. So realistically, it shifts down and fits in there perfectly. But this road, it straightens out. And this should be really um, distinguishable when you're out there. Um, so you have a really great idea out there just by this L shape. Um, you know where you're at and, you know, you can do things like, hey, you know, from this little, you know, you in the road, if I'm going to walk at an angle down, you know, what's the distance to the back end of this property? It's 275 yards. I mean, these are little tools um, that Google Earth offers that if you study this and you take your time before you go out to one of these properties, you're going to be able to get a really good idea. There's a lot of, um, looks like what appears to be flat space on this property. Um, the back end of it looks to be more steep. Um, but what's cool about the back end is you might get this creek that pops into your property. Um, it's a beautiful area. I mean, this area, again, another flatter area back there. And um, 
this area is you know popular for homesteads um, agriculture um, cattle hunting recreation so you know you can find it's a really rural it's a really remote area um, but other indications are like you see little houses little homesteads little dirt roads meandering back here some people with addresses these are all great indications hey people are getting water people are getting power I mean it's it's a reality I mean this if other people are doing it it's not a red flag might be out there in Timbuktu and there's nobody doing it right I mean maybe that's a red flag when you're looking at a property but um, in this case there's there's a lot of people using land out there so those are good signs um, we offer totally vacant undeveloped property we offer owner carry financing on all of our listings here at Wilco lands um, we've got a lot of education on our blog page we share a lot of this stuff with you about these properties um, that you can go and view on yourself anytime um, on our website listing Typically, we have owner carry options listed below the price. Um, we'll add that to this listing. We also have a, a calculator function on our website. Um, if you just type in calculate, it'll bring you to a loan calculator. And you can um, look at different payment plans, um, looking at that. But um, our, pictures here, our pictures here are meant to give you a depiction of the area. Again, you know, we're not hiring surveyors. We're not hiring the, the top-notch photographers in the world to go out there, right, paying thousands of dollars for these. We're keeping our costs low. And we're offering affordable prices. Um, you know, the plat map, you can see our property here. And, um, you know, this gives you an idea of the area, you know, um, if you haven't been there before. And I always suggest going out to these properties before buying anything, but that's not always the case for everybody. I mean, look at us. We've, we've bought hundreds of properties sight unseen over the years. Um, another common question is, hey, what's the zoning? What can you do on this property? We share that in all of our listings. And we also link the, the county zoning information below it. Um, Try and play around with this. If you have questions, like I said, I, I'm free 15 minute calls. We can consult, we can talk about your questions, go over due diligence um, and teach you how to do some of this on your own, on your own time. And um, I'll leave it at that for this property. Again, we're west of Redding, 40 acres outside of Ono, California. This is Shasta County at Wilco Land. You're speaking with Miles McLaughlin, 605-250-1256. Have a good one.